and welcome to uh, F12 Programming. My name is Mike Hewitt. I'm Jacob Prince. And what are we going to be talking about, Jake? Uh, today we are going to be renaming a solution and a project in Visual Studio. And, and I have done this a couple times and have messed it all up way back when I was starting out. So this is a good one just to kind of talk about. Yeah, usually when we start a new solution and a new project, we don't necessarily know what they're going to be called. So we just make something up or we name it something very generic and then later on the, the the solution gets a name you know we start referring to it as by some yeah. yeah and what's the difference between a solution and a project so a solution is uh, a wrapper around a collection of projects so we might have multiple projects that all relate to the same thing uh, multiple programs that all relate to the same uh, business problem we're trying to solve those all get wrapped up into a single solution. And I think way back when, when I was doing my, uh, I mean, the whole first year of me starting programming, I, it was really one to one. I mean, when you start out, you normally have one project per solution. So yeah. sometimes it tricks people up. Yeah, and then later on, later on, you're up, working with a couple projects, and then yeah, it gets out of control. And sometimes it balloons <laughs> up, and we've got a solution with twenty projects in it. But yep. uh, ones for the, the back end and the ones that run the database and mm -hmm. back end services. And they all kind of relate to the same problem so they get put into the same solution. And and where does this uh, so solutions and project uh, in the projects do they like are there files? Like is I, I know there's a solution file and there's a CG, CS project. Do those kind of yeah, you know link up to those two? Yeah so files? on either one of these, either the solution or the project over here on the, the right hand side here. If I right click these, you'll see there's this open folder in File oh, that's, Explorer. That's nice. And if you click that, it'll open up Windows Explorer for us. And this makes it seem very real <laughs> uh, because we can actually see here's our solution file. And uh, there's a folder here for the only project that we have. And there's a CS project hey, file. There you go, console. Uh, yeah. And I, I know the solution file because I always click on the solution. That's how I open the project a lot of times rather than going to Visual Studio first I just right. click on that and it immediately brings up Visual uh, Studio. Yeah, us old school old timers we like to work with files so <laughs> uh, and you can see this this project has a single file in it which is the program.cs which you can see represented over here on the right hand side uh, over here in our Solutions Explorer and for the most part the Solutions Explorer uh, each of these projects closely maps what you'll see in the Windows Explorer file window. Gotcha. So um, we could come in here if we so wanted and we could start uh, renaming files here but the way I like to do it is to have Visual Studio do as much of it as possible for me. So I'm just going to close that for right now and we're going to rename one of these. Let's start with the solution here and uh, let's go with just call this F12 Tech. And then I'm going to come under here to the project, and I'm just all you can right-click these and come down to rename. Uh, but I just if you just click them, and then you click it again, just like you were mm -hmm. in your in yeah. File Explorer, we can rename these. And let's call this one. Um, I'm going to go with a shorter name. We're just going to call it the F the Hello Console. And uh, everyone's got a different preference, but I like for my um, solution file and my project file to be called something different even when it's one-to-one -one. okay uh, but that's a personal preference of mine so yeah, why what why any reason why uh, well one you, you, when you see something pop up and it talks about some proper name so you definitely you know definitely know oh we're it, talking about the, the solution, solution or we're right. talking make, about yeah, the yeah. sense so yeah. um, and there's there's different settings at different levels um, so, I mean, the idea is that I can come in here to the solution and I can change settings on it that affect all of the projects under it. But um, Can you show us an example of having two projects? I mean, open up a second project underneath Sure, that. we could add why, another project why, right why, now. Why would we? So, if well, in this particular case, uh, with a window that just says Hello World, I don't know what the other <laughs> scenario would be. Well, maybe, maybe this is a console. Maybe we need some business logic, so maybe a library sure. behind. Sure, so we can come in here. Um, I'm just right-clicking on the solution very top node here I can come down to add and then um, there's a number of different ways to do this the easiest one is just to add a brand new fresh new project mm -hmm. which will bring up our add new project window 
and uh, let's, we're just going to add just a class library, nothing fancy. So I'll click that over here, and I go all the way down here. They've changed this. We have to go down to the all the way to the corner here. Everybody misses this button down here. we got to go to Next down here in the lower right-hand corner, and uh, we will give it a name. So let's call this Hello Logic. Uh, sure. Hello Logic. And as you can see, that's the project name. Click next down here again. Pick our framework. We're going to go with 6.0. And go. now you can see there are two projects underneath the one solution. Now, how does this look in the actual file explorer? I mean, in the actual folders? Well, again, I'll right click the solution, go down to open in a file explorer. And you'll see we have our one solution file with two folders, one for each project. Now, it doesn't have to be set up like that. These folders can be all over the place, but uh, it's pretty standard that the project folders are underneath the solution, and it's fairly standard um, that the project file be inside of that folder. Gotcha. Uh, that said, that can change, and we'll kind of get into a little bit of that too. So, could I have uh, over here? Uh, can I add another project that already existed outside of the structure of F12 solution? Yeah, if you, you know, when we came in here and we right clicked the solution, uh, we could do this all day. We could hit add, and we could hit let's add an existing project, and it's going to take us to some place where we would navigate through and find some previous project that we wanted to load in there. And would, would you select would you select the solution or the pro I mean what would you select? You would select the project. Okay. You can't have solutions in that solutions. CS proj. Yeah, yeah, the let me find it here. The, so you wouldn't click the solution, you would click on. Yeah, no matter what, you could only have one solution. You can't have solutions inside of solutions. Gotcha. Um, and you can't have projects inside of solutions. It's a it's a really flat tree. One solution, many projects, no branching. Right. Um, so when you're adding that, you'd actually click, you'd go into the Hello World or Hello Logic. Yeah, if you were adding an existing one, you're going to have to dig down. And you would click on that CS project. And you've got to find the project file, the CS project. Cool. Um, so let me think where we want to go next. Let's actually, did we rename these already? Yeah, we, yeah, we did. So we renamed that one. We added this one. Um, you can see that this one's bolded. That's because when we have multiple project files, the oh, bold yeah. one is the one that is set to uh, execute whenever we hit play. Right. So if I run this, we're going to get our, our Hello World program. Um, this you, one is just... I don't just, think you can, can you? You, you can't. can't. You can't start a... Yeah, this one's just business logic. It has no... Uh, actual program to run. It, 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 something else has to depend on this one. And we can, add, we can do that too. We can come in here to dependencies. And we can add a project reference. And we can say that this Hello Console depends on Hello Logic. And we'll do something really easy here. I'm going to go into this uh, Class 1. I'm not even going to bother to rename the class. It's called Class 1. And I'm going to put something in here real fast. Let's say public static message. IntelliSense got me there. Uh, message uh, string. And let's set it equal to hello world from the logic. I'm going to come into our program over here, and instead of using hello world, I'm going to say hello logic class one message, and we'll just import it from there. I'm going to hit save, and let's give that a shot. Okay, we're going to hit play. And here is our window, and you can see it now says, Hello World from the Logic. So you can actually put your Logic in a different project, and maybe, why would, why would, what, why would you, use, why would you do that? Um, all kinds of reasons. Uh, the biggest one is just separation of concerns. So a lot of times what you'll see is, 
one, one project will have all of your UI type logic, while one project has all of your business logic. And then if you want to change or add a new UI layer, you can. So if we made an application and it was a console app and then we needed it tomorrow to be a web app, we could make a new website as a new project and then pull in all of the logic from the logic part of it and not have to rewrite it. And if the day after that it turns into a, uh, a Maui app written for Android and iPhone, we can do that too. Um, or of a thick app or whatever it needs to be, um, we can keep reusing that logic component. Um, but right now, um, we have a few little things we need to finish up here. So we renamed these. Um, so if I go into my file explorer again and look at these, uh, here is my F12 tech solution, which we renamed. And my Hello World was renamed to Hello Console. Uh, but you'll see I still have a Hello World here. But when I go in that folder, the project is called Hello Console. And that's okay. We could leave it like that. Um, but I don't particularly care to have the folder name not match the name of the project. So we're going to fix that. Um, let's go ahead and close Visual Studio just so there's no problems with concurrency here. Now I'm going to come in here and if I go with this Hello World, just to verify, it says Hello Console. So let's back up one and let's rename our folder. It's going to re-alphabetize them here for me. And now when I go into Hello Console, there's my Hello Console project. Now the problem is, uh, as soon as I try to open my solution file, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to fail. <laughs> because now it's unable to find Hello Console. Because um, it's still looking in the Hello World. It's looking at the folder. wrong folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some some real trickery here. We're going to right click on the solution file and we're going to open it. And you can edit it with a text editor like Notepad or Notepad++. Uh, I'm going to use Notepad++ but it, it can be literally anything. And inside of it you're going to see a bunch of garbage you're not going to understand. Um, we don't need to. All we're really concerned with is these two lines right up here. And this is where it says what projects are assigned to this solution. And you can see it's looking for a project in the Hello World folder called Hello Console CS Proj. So I'm just going to literally come in here and change the word world oops, to console. And then once I've made that change, I'm going to hit save. And again, this is just a basic text file, nothing fancy. But now when we try to open this solution, it now knows that it needs to look in the Hello Console folder to look for that project. Boom. There you go. Now, if I come over here to my program CS that was already open, You'll see it has a really nasty error. It's going to make you think you did something wrong. That's fine. Um, these tabs that are up at the top here. A lot of times I just close out of everything. Yeah, well, the, it, what it does is it just tries to reopen the files you had opened before. And it also can't find the program CS in the Hello World folder. That's fine. You can just close it, come over here, and reopen it. It's just fine. Yep. So... Um, all right, so that's it. We renamed our solution. We'll uh, yeah, get this out. This helps. Yeah, we'll get yeah. this posted today, and hopefully uh, we'll get some, a few more videos out there soon. Thank you for watching that video from F12 Programming. Please remember to like and subscribe. That does so much for us in the ratings. You have no idea. Also, don't forget to comment below. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck coding.